Welcome back! In this tutorial, we'll design an easy vintage style birthday card in Procreate on your iPad. In this step-by-step -step guide, we'll craft a beautiful card that's sure to bring a touch of nostalgia to your loved one's special day. Plus, we'll be using some fantastic brushes from the PJ Letters and some Procreate features to make your design truly stand out. Let's get started! First, we're going to use our iPad with Procreate install and we're going to use a stylus. I prefer the Apple Pencil and we're also going to use the PJ Letters Vintage Texture Brush Set. This brush set is amazing and it has so much textures and it also have pencil and ink like brushes. First things first, we're going to open up Procreate and we're going to create a new canvas. For a classic birthday card, a size of 5 by 7 inches should work well. To achieve a vintage look, we'll be reaching for the wonderful brushes from the Pigeon Letters, specifically the Vintage texture Textures brush set. Don't forget to play around with opacity and size to get the perfect effect. Remember to always choose a color palette that it suits vintage charm. Um, think about muted pastels, warm earthy tones, and faded hues. I found mine using Pinterest, and you can use this same color palette for this tutorial. For references, I would like to go to Pinterest and see what they used to do back then for vintage cars and happy birthday cars and what I want to incorporate and change in my design now. Pick something as inspiration, not to copy the exact same details. Remember, we're here to get inspired, not to get sued. Before diving into details, let's start by sketching out our birthday card design. This set comes with a pencil, as I said, and it is perfect for this step. Don't be afraid to let your creativity flow. And perhaps you don't want to do a cake like I'm going to do, but you want to do a bicycle or some delicate florals. That's okay, it's your card, just make it special. I'm also going to incorporate a happy birthday lettering on top just to make this overall design more complete. Before starting, I always choose my background color first. I am choosing right now an off-white color for my background and I like to do this so I know how the colors go with each other and with how contrasting is with the background. I also love to do a thumbnail first, like a really rough color set 
just to test that my colors between each other are really contrasting and that makes me feel like I'm doing a good job. This is a little tip for you, like always test your colors and do thumbnail uh, sketches, even though if it's, a, even though this is a really easy piece, like an easy tank, I really like to do thumbnails. Now we're going to select the vintage monoline brush and draw our main shapes. Remember to create layers for each element just to maintain flexibility and control. We're going to need that when we are going to add shadows. To add depth and dimension, softly shade your elements for that authentic vintage look. I use the dry edger brush for this part and I select a slightly darker and more saturated hue for those shadows.
Now we are going to draw our text. I like to use preloaded fonts that I already have in my iPad. I like to have them to be like my guide and then I hand drawn on top of it just to make it look much more handmade but it still has a structure so feel free to use any fonts you like that suit your design to be able to have your message. For our final touches, we're going to add some vintage elements. It is now to infuse that vintage charm in our design. We're going to add some distressed textures. I really like this dust pan brush in a really large size tip and I go all over my canvas. Change the blending mode to multiply and lower the opacity of the layer. This is just to create some overall texture above our car. Now, we're going to use a Procreate feature called Chromatic Aberration. This is going to give us an offset print look. Once you're satisfied with your design and your colors, it's time to export it. You can always choose a high resolution export like PDF or share it as a JPEG for your loved ones and you're done. You have successfully crafted a stunning vintage inspired birthday card in Procreate. Remember, creativity knows no bounds. So feel free to experiment with different vintage styles colors and elements in your future projects.
as with any art form, practice makes perfect, and the more you create, the better your designs will become. I would love to see your vintage birthday cards design, so feel free to share your creations on social media, tagging both the Pigeon Letters and by Doriana Studio, so we can check out what you did. Together we can inspire and celebrate the wonderful world of digital art, so happy creating! <laughs>